explaining World War II. The signing of the Treaty of Versailles would bring World War I to an end. However, because of this treaty, many problems would arise later in the future. This treaty put many strains on Germany, such as forcing them to cut down their military to only 100,000 troops and forcing them to demilitarize the Rhineland. This treaty would also blame the Germans for the start of World War I, and because of this, many Germans would become angered. On the 2nd of August, 1934, the Chancellor of Germany at the time, the Nono Mustache Man, would come into power along with his Nono German party. The Nono Mustache Man was a huge German nationalist and believed that the German Aryans were the superior race, while Jews were, well, bad. He was an anti Semitist. The Nono Mustache Man would go on to do many things, such as remilitarize the Rhineland, he would take over all of Austria, and he would demand that he gain parts of Czechoslovakia known as the Sudetenland. Britain and France would do nothing about this. However, they would draw the line at Poland, saying that if the Nono Mustache Man invaded Poland, then they would declare war. However, he would not listen to this, and would sign the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact with the Soviet Union, agreeing to partition Poland along with them. On September 1st, 1939, the Germans would invade Poland, and Britain and France would declare war on Germany. A few weeks after the German invasion began, the Soviets would follow suit and would also invade Poland. The Germans would quickly roll over Poland using their tactics known as Blitzkrieg. Despite Britain and France declaring war on Germany, they would do little to stop him, and this would become known as the Phony War, a period of war despite the fact that there was no fighting. However, in 1940, the Germans would begin to make quick advancements, such as taking over Denmark in only six hours, taking over Norway, and taking over Belgium, the Netherlands, and taking out France. Meanwhile, the British army that had tried to help France fend off Germany were evacuated at Dunkirk. No, no, Germany would then set up a puppet government in France known as Vichy France to try and trick the British into thinking their ally had turned against them. Meanwhile, in Eastern Asia, prior to the war, no, no, Japan, under Emperor Hirohito, had been attacking China since 1931 and had taken over the province of Manchuria. By 1937, Japan made major gains within China, and by that point, war crimes against Chinese citizens became commonplace for the Japanese. One of the worst of these was the raping of Nanjing in 1938, when the Japanese would reach Nanjing and would do horrible atrocities towards the Chinese citizens. In November of 1939, Japan and Germany would sign the Agreement for Cultural Cooperation between Japan and Germany, which would strengthen relations between the two countries. Back in Europe, Britain was now alone, and they were attacked during the Battle of Britain and the Blitz. However, the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, would be unable to defeat the British Air Force, the RAF. On September 27, 1940, the Nono Mustache Man, along with ambassadors from Japan and Italy, would meet inside of Berlin and would sign the Tripartite Pact. This would establish all three nations as allies, and they would become known as the Axis Powers. The fighting would continue, and things seemed almost hopeless. Germany and Italy were making gains inside of Europe, meanwhile Japan was making great gains inside of Eastern Asia. However, this would change in June of 1941, when Germany would invade Russia under the codename of Operation Barbarossa. Initially, things would be good for the Germans, with them making great gains within Russia. However, when the winter happened, things would turn bad. The Nono Mustache Man would refuse to allow his troops to retreat from Russia during the cold winters, and this would allow the Russian troops, who were better prepared for the winter, to attack the German troops. By the time that the winter had ended, the initially unprepared Russians had got their things together and would begin to push the Germans back. In Eastern Asia during December of 1941, the Japanese would attack Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, which belonged to the United States. This would turn out to be a bad option, as the now angered United States would join the war on the side of Great Britain. Things would become even worse for the Axis when Germany decided to declare war on the U.S., even when they didn't need to. With the U.S. now part of the war, 
the Axis powers would have to fight against the Allied side, consisting of the USSR, America, and the UK. Despite this, the Germans would then create their final solution, the plan to exterminate every single Jew on the planet. This would become known as the Holocaust. During this period, Jewish women, men, and children would be brought to concentration camps, where they would then be executed through different means, such as gas chambers. Multiple important battles would follow this, including the Battle of Midway on the Pacific Front, the Battle of El Alamein in Egypt, and the Battle of Stalingrad, one of the deadliest battles in the war, in Russia. On July 25, 1943, the Italians would vote Benito Mussolini out of power, and in October of that same year, they would declare war on their old ally Germany, joining the Allies. In 1944, the Japanese would begin to be pushed back, and in that very same year, the Allies would launch Operation Overlord, storming the beaches of Normandy in France, which happened to be under Germany's control. Today, this is known as D-Day. In May of 1945, the Soviets would be the first to reach the German capital of Berlin. The Germans would then surrender not long after the No-No Mustache Man would commit suicide in his bunker. The war on the Western Front was now over. However, on the Eastern Front, the war continued with Japan. Japan had been pushed back to its normal territory and was now facing assaults by the Allies. However, on the 6th of August, 1945, the U.S. would drop the first atomic bomb ever created on Hiroshima. On the exact same day, Nagasaki would be bombed. On September 2nd, 1945, the Japanese would surrender, bringing World War II to an end. In conclusion, World War II was the deadliest war in history, with an estimated 50 million people dying during the span of the war. It would lead to the creation of the nuclear bombs, and eventually the Cold War. Many war crimes would be committed against millions of people over the span of the war, and to be honest, it's just horrible to talk about. Thank you for watching this video on World War II.